What's the crack lads? Welcome back. It's Thursday and we are going to be doing a small little short weekly roundup of what is new. So you've got the Blue Lock collaboration. The final player is here. Blue Lock collaboration campaign is here. So that's the last player. If you haven't got, we also have an avatar set as well for free. So that's going to be inside. There was an issue with lap 20. I know a few people were asking me last week in stream saying that they never got the player in the lap 20. That seems to be fixed. And they said that they're going to be giving us 10,000 GP. Don't spend it all at once, lads. But yeah, that is again going to be fixed there um, with the last maintenance, which is today. Uh, also on top of this, we've got a couple of other bits and pieces to get into. We'll get into all of this here and we have new player of the weeks. We've got new cards upcoming as well. The events are still as follows, still rinse and repeat as you see, but we do have a brand new time attack event. This is an event where you would be aiming to score a goal in the shortest time possible. Medals are awarded according to the time taken to score a goal, aim to collect them all. So this is actually not an online event. This is against the AI. So you've got beat the clock here. You've got the blue lock second selection and the blue lock first collection. So if you haven't got all the blue lock players yet, you should now have eight of them. As long as you complete this uh, challenge here, complete the second challenge, and then also you're going to be getting the ones from the login. So I think it's four from the challenges and four from login or around that. This new time attack here, I mean, for me personally, lads, anything new that they add is going to be something that we'll, we'll need to look at. But yeah, I mean, honestly, these type of events, I, I think, listen, it goes all the way up to Superstar. Um, and basically all you have to do is exactly what it says on the tin. You just have to score goals as quick as possible within one minute, within two minutes, within five minutes. So, I mean, this at this level is going to be... Yeah, I mean, listen, it's it's something that if you're not able to score a goal like within this and get your 10,000 GP, it just kind of... I feel like that they could have thrown this out a little bit. We'll get into this and my thoughts on it. Um, but they're not giving you that many rewards. I mean, it's, it, it's just metal rewards that are going to be giving you... A, uh, GP, the ultimate rank here is to get 150,000 GP or whatever, um, if you get that rank there, and also to get your skill trainers. I mean, it's probably going to take you about, like, what, 40 minutes maybe to complete this? Uh, it's probably good for newcomers, yeah, but I definitely like to, I'd like to think that they're going to extend this out and throw it out. For me personally, this is something that doesn't really, you know, it's not going to be something that's like, oh, I can't wait to do the time trial today, you know, and get on and try and do it, because you'll have it done in about half an hour. As with everything else, the events stay all the same. Now, on for this here, we do have the special players of the week. We also have a league selection here, which is the Turkish league selection. I will cover this in a future video. We'll do a quick player of the week review. Rafael Leao Rodrigo. We did predict as well that we were going to get Dan Roma, but we don't get him. But we do get, Lu uh, we do get Luis Diaz, and we also get Sergio Ramos here as well. The rest of the players in this pack, I feel like that they're not going to be... Yeah, I mean, these packs now and this player of the week, it is kind of... I, I just feel like Rodrigo and Rafael Leao and Sergio Ramos are going to be good. You also have João Neves, who's a good player as well. He doesn't have a real face. Well, it's... Yeah, I mean, he has the hairstyle kind of uh, fairly okay. This card looks pretty decent. Kind of looks like an Iniesta type player. We'll do a full review on these. Rodrigo's going to get your booster, obviously, as well as you see there with speed and balance. You can't train these players. If you're a new guy and you're watching these player, uh, watching these videos... You literally can't train your player of the weeks. So that's going to be something that you need to you need to kind of like um, understand if you are spinning for the player of the weeks, right? We also have the Turkish pack here as well. That's ongoing for another week. But yeah, everything else is going to be pretty much the same. Um, now we do have a look ahead as well as to what is going to be coming next week. And that is going to be... Uh, the new Manchester United pack. So that has been added to the database and that will be coming on the 8th of April. So that's going to be something, again, that people will probably look to get. Uh, we will be live streaming later. Everything else, I think that they're not going to add anything to the eFootball Point store or anything like that until, you know, we get the next big update. But that's just a quick one for you boys. There's nothing else really to cover. All the objectives and all that are still going to be staying the same. The daily game is still ongoing as well. But yeah, it's it's going to be all about, I think, um, you know, the next big update that they get. Because I, I feel like now at this stage, the player of the weeks, unless you're a newcomer, um, is going to be... Once once the novelty wears off of getting like the best player of the week one week, the novelty isn't really there the next week. So I think now that the players that you're going to be getting are definitely going to be players that you just probably don't even end up playing unless you get the best one or two so but that is it for me boys i will be back later on with our live stream don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you then peace